Hi everyone, we're going to talk about writing equations of ellipses, ellipses from graphs and finding the foci. Some people call it foci, call it foci. Anyway, an ellipse is the set of all points in a plane, such as the sum of the distances from any two given points in the plane, called the foci, is uh, a constant. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, here are the formulas for it. If you notice, the top portion, our numerator, looks just like the circle formula here. And what we have at the bottom is a squared under the x portion and a b squared for the horizontal major axis. And then we switch the a squared and the b squared for the vertical major axis. All right? And the way you find the so foci is uh, this formula here. And we're going to do that and look at some graphs. And I think uh, the equation will make more sense. So um, uh, we call the major axis and minor axis. And we, we're going to talk all about that. So here's my ellipse. You can actually call it a standing up egg. I'll call it a standing egg or a sleeping egg. This one's standing up. If I notice here, my center is at 0, 0. So my equation is going to be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 1. Now, the length of the vertical axis is the longest. So this is going to be my A portion. It's 8 up and 8 down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 8 and square it, and that's going to be 64. So that's your A squared. Your A is 8. Your B is 3. That's your horizontal. You're going 3 this way and 3 that way. So your B is 3 and you square it, and that's going to be over 9. So basically, that's your equation of the ellipse, and uh, we don't need the zeros there, so that's just x squared over 9 plus y squared over 64 equals 1. Now, uh, let's talk about the length of the major axis. The major axis is the longer one. It's the larger number here. Um, what I also want to say is, if you look at this, you know how slopes are. You have one ninth, you have one sixty fourth. You know that this uh, flattens out the line more. So we're basically flattening out this circle. It's a lot flatter in here. Okay. And so that's that's the difference. That's why it's flatter on the y, the vertical port portion of it versus the, this portion is not as flat on the circle, relatively speaking. All right, now, so the length of the major axis is 8 plus 8, which is the whole length here is 16. So the way you get the length of the major is 2 times a, which is 2 times 8, which equals 16. And the length of the minor is 2b. In this case, it's 3 plus 3 is 6. So that's 2 times 3 equals 6. Now let's talk about the foci. The foci is when you have um, um, a, the portion. Let's just find it first. The, the, it's c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So c squared, we're finding c. c equals 64 minus 9. So c squared equals 55. So c, if you take the square root, is plus or minus square root of 55. Now, this is always going to lie on the major axis, which is your y, because it's the bigger number. And we also know that the way I do it, since I don't let my students use a calculator, I know that square root of 55 is in between square root of 49. Oh, let me make this bigger. I'm going to do it over here. Okay, square root of 55 is in between 
square root of 49 and the square root of what? 64. So it's in between 7 and 8. So when I come up here, my foci is going to be right here. And it's plus and minus. So it's right up in here and here. Now, as before, the foci actually generates or defines the ellipse. And what that means is if you take two thumbtacks and put a rubber band around them and take a pencil and kind of go up on the rubber band and go around, it will give you an ellipse. And I can't do that on this kind of uh, format for the iPad, but um, it means the sum. So if I um, take, uh, this one's kind of hard. So, if I have the rubber band and it hits here and here, the sum of the distance between the rubber band will equal the same across. I think this one's going to be hard for me to show you on this one. I have to show you a rounder one. But anyway, that's all the information you need to know for an ellipse. Okay? Uh, the next one. We have to write an equation for this. Again, my center is 0, 0. So that's just going to be x squared plus y squared equals 1. And this is a, called a sleeping egg. So my major axis is on the x-axis, which is 4 this way and 4 that way. So you take your 4 and square it. That's going to be 16. So a is for a squared is 16. B equals 2. So B squared is 4. And uh, you have your ellipse. You have your equation. Um, C is going to be A squared, C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So C is going to be uh, C squared is 12, so that means your C is as plus or minus the square root of 12. All right? So to find the foci here, I know the square root of 12 is in between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. So it's in between 3 and 4. And I just kind of estimate, so 3 and 4 here it's going to be. It always lies on the major axis. Recall the major axis is the longer one. And the whole length of this um, is 8. So you just do 2 times 4 equals 8. That's your major axis. It's a horizontal major axis. And the length of the minor is 2 plus 2 is 4, which is 2 times 2 equals 4. That's the length of your minor axis. All right? And the last one I have has a different center. So the center is negative 3, um, negative 2. So my equation is going to be x plus 3. It's actually, let me write it the right way. Right. It's x minus a negative 3 plus y minus a negative 2 squared um, equals 1. Now, it's a standing up leg because uh, we're going up 3 here. 1, 2, 3. So since you're going up 3 and down 3, you take 3 squared and that's 9. And on the x-axis, that's the minor axis, that's going to be 2, so 2 squared is 4. So basically, I can change these two negatives to positive. All right? There's your equation of your ellipse, which is our goal. Now, I know that A equals 3, B equals 2, A squared is 9, B squared is 4, so c squared is 9 minus 4, which is 5. I just subtract those two. So c is the square root of 5. And we know square root of 5 is in between the square root of 4 and square root of 9. 
So I'll do that. Square root of 5 is in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9, which is in between 2 and 3. And it's on the, um, uh, this is plus and minus, sorry. Um, it's going to be on the length of the major, so it's going to be right in here. And there's your foci. It's pretty easy. You draw that, and then the length of the major axis is just 2 times 3. It's on the vertical part this time. Which equals 6 equals the length of major axis. And 2 times 2 equals 4 it equals the length of the minor axis. Okay? Now, the next video on um, ellipsis is more complicated. We're going to um, get the equation, and then we're going to have to draw it and then fill out the information like we did before. So thank you, and have a nice day.